Hello, welcome to episode 48 of Let's Play Crusader Kings 3 as the Roman Empire. In the last episode, we just hanged around for a bit, tried to make our offensive war deficit go down, or like the opinion deficit, and then I decided I want to go and attack Iberia, which we did. So now we have established ourselves, we got a foothold into Iberia, and I want that foothold to expand, because that is, that's nothing, that's about, that's not even the entire Duchy of Barcelona in itself. I want the entire island. That's a lot of kingdoms. What's the empire title? Hispania. Because th this is getting integrated into the Roman Empire. Hopefully the rest can get integrated as well. We're trying to integrate this. It's going to be done in a long time. Things are getting integrated. That, that empire is massive. Probably not when it comes to counties, but in sheer size it's massive. I haven't really looked at all of the empires. The Persian Empire, Arabian Empire, Roman Empire. Romania, Southern Baltic Empire. Russia. Interesting. Carpathia. I, th I was thinking we should probably attack Valencia. Because why not? We could. So why shouldn't we? We're just going to go, we're just going to go for it. And he's so weak. I can do this just by using my own man at arms. It's not going to dare attack me. And I'm going to, have to use this person. Hopefully, I can catch those guys. Okay, this became more risky than I thought it would ever do become. I think we should kick his ass. And we did. Bloody kicked his ass. Because my men at arms are amazing. I could ransom you, I don't care about that gold. Okay, so the independence fashion has disappeared, the liberty fashion is okay -ish. I like that. I feel, I feel like the sieges are very quick since we got the manuals, in actual fact. They are amazing. And it have to do with this person as well, I think. And we should probably keep on sieging the stuff inside the duchy I want to take. Which means going for this one. Something else I could do? I could ransom this person for 100 gold. I think that was his wife. Three months, it's not a long time. That's his army, he's probably going back for his capital. But he should be much slower, yeah. Because he doesn't have the siege equipment that we do. He has he has onagers, only three of them. That's terrible. That's terrible. I feel like my income has gone down. Martha. She's already sleeping with another person. With who? My patriarch. She's sleeping with my bloody patriarch. The holy man isn't that holy, seemingly. Uh, interesting. Very interesting. Aragon, the Dutch of Aragon. I twisted my head to see that. <laughs> That's why it took some time to read it. Maximum age of not 35. Yeah, 35. It's okay. I want them to be young and nice. I want them to keep that opinion boost of me for a long time. In actual fact. Because the Valencia is very weak. We could attack Asturias now. That's going to be slightly more difficult because they are slightly stronger. Why would I attack in that direction? Okay, that's two counties. I'm probably going to go for Toledo when I do attack. I'm not going to do it this second. I just want to see how everything is looking inside the empire when it comes to managing the realm. Our levy is very strong. We're probably the strongest person on the game. Hmm. 
we have only played as four characters. We've done a lot of things. All of them have lived for a long time. That's the, that's the reason. Actually. That's the reason why it's been going so well for us. We haven't really died that many times. I probably need to do something about this. this that's a lot of money I'm losing. In Constantinople. Mainly in Constantinople I'm losing a lot of money from not having full control. I could probably subjugate the entirety of Navarra. But they're already losing a battle or a war. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. What else could we do? I could probably subjugate those people. They are actually heretics. So I could hold award them. Because I can't really restore imperial provinces in this area. So it's probably better to hold award those guys. When I think about it. We have a lot of piety. We don't need it for anything. Yeah, sure. Mystical communion. Ah. Uh, that's bad. I'm ill. I'm feeling poor. I might die. I screwed up. Bloody hell. That's very bad. And I, I don't even have a court physician. I, I, didn't, I didn't know I didn't have a court physician. <laughs> I should get a pop-up saying your court physician is dead. Get a new one. Parfina. Yeah, you're the new one. Help me. Do no more than necessary. Safe treat. Bloody hell. <sighs> I might die. I might actually die here. When this upgrades. I'm feeling poor. I'm still only feeling poor, but... That's really bad. Hopefully I'm not going to die. Is that the, I'm, just, I'm not going to go into any wars while I'm on death's bed. We have an, another independence faction. We have only one member, but that one member is very strong. Okay, who is she? My rival. Curse you. Yeah, curse you, woman. How long is this going on for? Not that long, six months. You're not getting out. I'm still only feeling poor because I have all of those positive things. Hopefully saving my life. Hopefully saving my life. Uh, he he actually demanded to get bet, get let out, and now he died in my prison. Interesting. Someone's trying to kill my. Adulterer patriarch. Well, he's not even an adulterer. He's actually doing something really bad when it comes to his vows. Is that too bad? Shame on you, patriarch. Shame on you. But I don't really care that much. My grandfather was a naughty man. What about my grandfather? Yeah, my grandfather. The glorious guy. The restorer of the Roman Empire. He was. He was a naughty man. Praetorian Guard. I really want that one. I really do. We are no longer ill. I'm very glad to be well again. And now we actually have a court physician. This should probably update. Right? Or am I feeling poor because I'm old? Uh, okay. He is a dwarf. He's an irritable dwarf. And he is the king of Egypt and he doesn't like me. Okay. Okay. Something got constructed. Now I think we should attack Asterius. And we're going for Toledo. There's Toledo. It's the biggest 
duchy, I could go for one, two, three, four, five, six holdings. That's an amazing duchy. He's very strong. It's an amazing duchy. But he's not even close to as strong as I am. So it's not a big problem. And I think that a lot of that strength comes from his allies, right? Ireland, Alga, Bavaria, and Sweden. No, he has a truce with Sweden. That's the way it was. He has a truce with him. And they, of course, all join in, but he's still going to lose because we are mega powerful. We have a lot of money as well. That should be enough. 20k. And now we should... That is our army. I want to siege down Toledo as quickly as possible. So we all split those in half. In nice little siege stacks. And... No. I need control click, otherwise I'm going to select them all. I'm actually feeling a slight lag now. I actually am myself feeling a slight lag. That's usually not the case. I of course want my managers to be sieging anything. There they are. You should siege down something. Which means you're going to siege down Toledo. I'm going to lose a lot of people to attrition. I do know that. It's it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. We are still strong enough for it not to be a big deal. For us. And that's the main thing. He has about 5k in his own troops. This is his only war. He's going to focus on us. On us. Okay, so someone can get married. My grandson is intelligent. He's kind of okay. And I might just betroth him to this person of Lotharingia. Because why not? That That's a fun thing to do, I guess. He's going to like that. So the sensible Roman Emperor. Thank you. I am quite sensible. I surely am. He's probably going to tr go and try and attack some one of those smaller stacks with his, yeah, his bigger army, which means you should all get there and try and help him. Uh, no. Or probably we should do it the other way around. You should go here. You stay here. You stay there. He's probably getting away by the skin of his teeth. That was very close. That was very close. Now he's probably going for one of those smaller armies in this area instead. Or that person. Because I have I have Toledo. You. I want my guys. They, that's too high of fourth level. Oh, they're actually still going for this army. Or this one. Yeah, they're actually attacking this army. This, this is going to be close. And I should not be a commander. That's stupid. How many merit armies do they have? Actually, quite a lot. I do as well, though. I do have them. But they are useless because we are in mountains. We are going to win this battle, though. We have a faction created. But we won that battle, and that's the main part. And Bavaria left the war. Because I... She has left the war. She was killed or something. Seemingly, she was killed. You go there. And you... 
my managers should probably siege something down. Which means you go there, and those other guys, they go here. And you, you move upwards. Someone has exchanged culture support. My friend has paid me money. Thank you. To help me with the war effort. Seemingly. And I lost the hook. The memories remain. My friend is dead. He was killed by someone. A curse undone. One of my rivals. It seems like I have a lot of rivals. I, don't, I can't even remember all of them. How is the faction looking? Quite powerful, actually. Scheme. Someone's trying to kill my patriarch. He's a good one. He's a very good one. Let the traitor be known. Okay, so he's done with the control increasement in Byzantium. Bryce is... It's not that important in those two. Really, it's not. You should probably move up here as well. And you should too, because you are my siege equipment. You are important. You're very important. Because I speed up everything a lot. I don't care about house members to join me in those simple wars. I'm spending prestige for no reason. Even though I have a lot of prestige. And I'm on maximum fame. Because the holy order expands again. I control more places. Very good. They are done very soon. Now they're done. We should probably go back into our own holdings. You, of course, you finish. So I should send you here. And you should go. Yeah, go there. Over there instead. And something was finished in. Where was this? Oh! 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 And Bavaria is back in the war. Oh. I had completely missed that. They kicked those guys' asses. Which means you're going to go and kick off their asses. These are my cat effects, right? Yeah, they are. They're incredible. I'm just going to wait. That's three months though. Oh, bloody hell. These are only levy. Okay, so I, I won the war because I sit something down, I guess. Yes, I did. There we go. Disband everyone. And now I'll need to lose a lot of holdings. Two people. Give it all away. I have this grandson. Do I want to land him? No. Okay, so this has a special building. Toledo. It's probably like a church or something. It's probably a church. It's usually more often than not a church. And then I want the entire duchy as well. And I'm going to give it to you, Mr. Toledo guy, even though you hate me. Yeah, because of defensive war. Of course they do. Now you're going to love me though. Or not. He still likes me a lot, but he's, he doesn't love me. Andalusia, Valencia... Aquitaine. Now I'm above my vassal limit. We could go on a pilgrimage again. I'm not going to do that because I might get sick again and die. So I'm not going to do something that risky. I'm feeling poor. Because I'm 69 years old. 
which is quite old. I should probably take away that. So I'm not going to go on a mystical communion again because that didn't really work out that well last time. Valerius is dead. He was my patriarch. He was probably killed. Because someone tried to murder him. And this new one is actually quite good as well, so it's not a problem. Who should I now? Egypt. Sway. Yeah, I'm actually feeling a lag. Hopefully it's not really that noticeable on the recording. Uh, yeah, sure. Go away. You're not important. Probably my prison is quite full now. It actually is. That's going to make a lot of people leave it. I could probably make those people become believers of the true faith, but I don't really care now. It takes too long. Some of them I might just leave in here. Some of them. The non-important ones. The non-important ones. Because we are very much established now in Iberia. Consecrate bloodline. Yeah, sure. I become a paragon. And I gain renown for the cost of piety. Why shouldn't I? I should absolutely do this. Because that takes a long time to get. Sacred lineage. lineage. My unwavering devotion towards God's representatives on earth has not gone unnoticed. Ecumenical Patriarch Ronan has officially recognized my family's contributions and consecrated our name as eternal defenders of the Orthodox faith. Virtue without fault. I'm a paragon. We have a lot of renown now. I have above, I have above a thousand. I could probably spend it on something. But I would like this one. Studious Youth. I would really like that one as well. And that one. Making all of our guys live for extremely long. But that one is very good. Educations. Fewer complications during pregnancy. Personal scheme against dynasty members. That's very good. Graceful aging. Increased skills with age. I would like that one as well. And no prowess loss from age. That's like I'm leading troops, but it's a good thing. Probably saving it towards that one, though. In all honesty. So the Patriarch apparently loves me. Strengthen bloodline. Strong blood. I would like having this one. But I would need, as, as we can see here, good traits. I don't have the good traits I need. My heir. Consecrated blood. Oh, very good. He only has intelligent, but he's some has a son that has two of the three. I, would w I need one to have three of three. So I could go for strength and bloodline. That's very good. Strong blood, health, small boost. Those two things is very good as well. Making everyone born of our dynasty incredible. Would be awesome. This is okay-ish. Who are you? You don't like me. You're very strong, you don't like me. Probably because of defensive war. And he's ambitious and he doesn't like the absolute crown authority. I get it. You don't like it. My heir is already 51. I could probably change myself to play as his son immediately, but he's not as good. But it ha still, dying is never a nice thing to do. It, always, it makes a lot of bad things happen, but... I guess we shouldn't. A secret exposed. How is the succession looking? We lose six titles to my other son. The younger one. Uh, should I? Why am I? I'm a rival with a 15 year old. Why? I'm a trusting guy. I, sh I should let her in. He's going to get a lot of 
holdings here in it's going to oh 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 Oh. Could I change the law? Heraldry. Partition. Trade it for them. This one is going to change that. Pass law. Again, the perk, true ruler. I'm still, I'm still going to change that. My vassal is injured. There we go. He's not going to get the Empire of Italia. I had completely forgotten about they actually able to create titles. Whew, that's very good. <laughs> uh, I got a bit scared for a moment. Ooh, now we have partition instead. So they can't create new titles. He's probably not going to like that. He doesn't really care. The memories remain. My friend is dead. I gained a lot of stress from that. Could ransom this countess. Okay, so we can ma now we can vassalize a lot of people. Who is she? Where are you? She is here. That's very good. We're getting a lot of people for free. Augsburg. I know where that is. This person. Yeah, sure. Brescia. Oh, that person. Sure, she's 80. She's a drunkard, but she's still 80. That's incredible. Uh, where are you? Is it this person? He's surrounded by us. It's probably the best thing for him to do. And this person. That seems like it's in Iberia. It's not, it's actually in France. That's a lot of places I'm going to get for free. Just watch and see. And there we go, we for free got a lot of extra land. And we got rid of that annoying person. We're just going to have re get rid of this person as well. But he doesn't like me because he desires... He has the duchy. That's the reason. And now I'm above my direct vassals instead. It's, it's not a big problem. I can probably solve that. I can't deserve that. It seems like she was at war with someone. We got Augsburg, we got the duchy, right? Yeah, we did. Now he doesn't like me at all, because he's my vassal now. And now he cares about all of those things instead. And I'm not his rightful leader as well. Bloody hell. It's still gonna take you 13 years to integrate that bloody title. Wait, what? Oh, he's the, he's the person of Sardinia, that's the reason. Don't I have a better chancellor? He's not even a powerful vassal. He's an important vassal, but he's not a powerful one. He, he is good though. I don't, I don't want to fire him. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. A lot of wars is happening. It's not really my, my problem. A night to forget. I'm not going to go, go down that route. Sicily could lose opinion of me. Sicily. I don't care about her. She's, she's a Catholic person. And I brought the party to life, so everyone liked that. Very good. And now I could vassalize this person. Saragossa. 
Yeah, thank you. This is incredible. He said, Could we now create the Duchy of Aragon? We could. He is part of the Duchy of Aragon. He's not Greek, though. He is. He is Greek as well. That's the Duchy holding. But he is not cat. He's not Greek. He's Orthodox, but he's not Greek. A young person that likes me. Who's this guy? Here we go. That's going to help me solve this issue as well. We are vassalizing everyone. Seemingly. And it's beautiful. It looks like the Roman Empire now. It has done that for a long time. But it starts to really look like the Roman Empire. Especially when we're going to have the entirety of Iberia. And France. Or Gaul. Or whatever you want to call it. And then we're going to get start working on Germany. Ooh. I will be dead within a year. Bloody hell. I don't care about your alliance. So I'm going to die. Probably should vassalize everyone I could before I die then. Where are you? You're this person. Of a vassalage. Thank you. Peacefully spreading the boat. Oh. How did that happen? Ancona? How did that happen? Interesting. Bardus could marry. He is my son. He is the person I'm not going to play as. And I don't want him to pop up more babies because I want to kill off his entire family with my next character. So you're never going to marry. Could I prohibit him from marrying? You could do that in CK2. I could ask him to take vows. He's never going to accept that though. May not inherit titles. May not marry. I have a weak hook on him. Bloody hell. Because I'm dying soon. That's that's the problem. I'm dying. I f I'm feeling it in my bones. I was right when I said that we had about 10 years. So we, we, we lost one. The lure of language. He wants me to learn the Gaelic language. Uh, why? Uh, sure. I, I, it's time to hit the books. I want to be. I'm a learn man. I want to learn every bloody language you could learn. Okay, so someone that is important. He is important. If he was, if he was on my council, he would love me, and he's very good as well. So he should be on my council. I'm going to go through the hassle of getting Rome back when I'm dead. I hate having to do that because you, you may get caught and become a kinslayer in everyone's eyes because you kill off your bloody own family. How good is my heir at intrigue? He's not that good. He's arbitrary, he is compa- oh bloody hell, he's compassionate. He's going to hate that. He hates intrigue. He, almost, he doesn't want to kill people. I gain. Okay, so they could marry. Go on. We cannot vassalize anymore. Am I still going to die? I felt it in my bones, guys. Why aren't I dying? I probably shouldn't say that because I will die when I say those things. Feeling kind of suspense here. Are we going to die or are we not going to die? But that's going to be a question for another episode. Because we haven't died yet, which means I'm going to leave it to the suspense, a cliffhanger. Will we die next episode? You never know. This person has done a lot of things in his lifetime. 
He has expanded the empire a lot. He mended the schism. He has been a extremely pious person and extremely interested in in science. We're getting that in three months. Very good. As well. So I'm liking this. I'm very much liking this guy. But like, subscribe if you have enjoyed this video. Leave a comment if you want to. And I'm going to see you next time. See you soon.